So we're gonna work on the bread dough today. I'm gonna buy the Rhodes white bread value pack. It's got five loaves in it and it's five dollars, so it's a dollar a loaf. But you have a lot of flexibility with what you're buying. Now I'm gonna use some spray, cooking spray to keep it from sticking, and some plastic rack to cover it while it proofs. So there's two ways you can thaw this dough, and the directions are on the package, but you could put it in the refrigerator overnight and let it thaw there and proof um, when you get up in the morning. If you wanna make just a regular loaf of bread, um, you can cut it as you need it for other things like pizza crust, hoagie buns, etc. So off of yesterday's loaf, I mean bread, and I tried to make four hoagie rolls because we're gonna have po' boy sandwiches tonight with some oysters we got from the pantry. Um, but what I've learned is you can't get four good, good ones off of a loaf that's thawed. You have to um, do, use separate loaves. So as long as you have uses for it or just gonna make bread, otherwise it's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is shake this Spray my loaf pan. This is a rather, it's a small loaf pan, but it fits the bread. Spray that. Put the loaf in there. And I always put it with these marks on here so that I know that's kind of like a guide for me to cut it or do whatever I need to with it. Spray it again. with plastic wrap. And once it's thawed but not proofed, we'll do some more cutting on that. So that'll be the next short. Thanks for checking in with the Penny Nanny. Be well, be blessed, and know you're taken care of.